Okay, step four on the path to home ownership. You found it. You found a house you want to write an offer on. Yay, you. All right, now, here's the deal. Is it a seller's market or is it a buyer's market? This should have come up in step two, so you knew what was, what was happening in the market. Do you have to write an offer quickly? Is there a pre-inspection date? Is there a date that they're going to be looking at offers? All those are different kinds of scenarios, and you need to know how to deal with them. Each one impacts the kind of offer you're going to write and how you're going to negotiate that offer. All right, I'll talk about inspections and pre-inspections and the difference in the inspection period, which is really step seven, although you may wind up with the pre-inspection right now in step four. However, the important part of this for the offer, uh, for the offer writing and the negotiation is you need to know, is this a buyer's market or a seller's market? Has the house been on the market for a long time or is it new to market and is likely to get sold really quickly for multiple offers or sold above asking price? Your realtor should be able to tell you with a high degree of certainty how many offers that house is going to have on it, uh, what kind of, how much over it's likely to go. This is where having interviewed an agent in the past, which I've gone over, really makes a difference. You really want to go with someone who knows the kind of market that you're in and knows how to write and negotiate an offer consistent with the current market conditions. This is really where having interviewed multiple agents and spoken to clients of theirs from the past would be, a, would be really useful for you because you'd know, are they capable, are they up to the task of negotiating and writing an offer in the current market conditions or are they going to be blindsided? I can't even tell you how many offers I see as a listing agent from people who clearly had no clue as to what was going on in the market. And all that means is their client never interviewed them. So this is a really important part. This is, in fact, writing and negotiating the offer. It's really where your agent makes their money, right? They should be able to negotiate for you better than the next guy. This is what they're getting paid for, okay? The rest of it you really could have handled on your own. All right, so... This is where they write an offer, and there's all the pieces of the writing the offer that you want to get, you know, grounded in. Earnest money, what does that mean? You want to go over that with your agent. Your agent needs to know, do you want the seller to contribute to closing costs in a seller's market? That's not going to happen. In a buyer's market, it could happen. You want to know what that means. You want to get into that with your agent. Um, you want to get through all the particles of the negotiation to make sure you're clear how that's going to go during, before, and after the negotiation. Okay, so this is really, this writing and negotiating is really where your agent's going to make their money, and you want to make sure you have interviewed them prior that, so that you know you got someone who's not going to be surprised, someone who can handle this situation, and someone who's got a track record of having handled it. This is a really big deal. This is where you are going to get your money's worth, okay? This is the writing and negotiating of the offer part. All right. Any questions, give me a call. Happy to go through any of the other stuff. But this is it. This is really where you're going to write the offer. Okay. So thank you. Good luck. Mm -hmm.